When I was making my Worst Tank and War Thunder video, I actually had a lot of fun. You wouldn't think so, since I was exclusively playing bad vehicles. But when you don't expect to do well, the game becomes a lot less frustrating. So when somebody suggested I do the same video, but this time for the Worst Premium Tank, I jumped at the opportunity. Finding the vehicle will be a bit more interesting for this one. On one hand, the pool of vehicles is smaller, so in theory it should be easier to find, but on the other hand, premium vehicles are usually at least average. It's hard to make money when the thing you're selling isn't useful. But before we get into it, I want to talk about my sponsor. I'm partnered with Apex Gaming. They make pre-built PCs. If you're looking to upgrade, you should check them out. Link is in the description and comments. You can use my username as a discount code on checkout. Now back to the video. In the last video, I tried to avoid low tier for a very good reason. Though there are some terrible vehicles in that area, you're mostly fighting new players, people that don't know how to play the game yet. Because of that, it's hard to gauge just how bad a vehicle is. For this video though, playing low tier was basically a necessity. As mentioned just a bit ago, it's hard to sell vehicles that are useless, and Gaijin makes a lot of money off of mid to high tier vehicles. So in order to find a bad premium tank, I had to go to low tier. I decided to start with the first vehicle I ever tried to get a refund for, the Panzerwerfer. Now you think it'd be very good, considering overpressure and all, since it fires some pretty massive rockets, but that's not the case. At 27mm, the rockets have pretty poor penetration, they're also very slow to reload, have low velocity, and poor gun depression. And that's just for the rockets, the vehicle itself isn't too great either. It is incredibly slow, being easily outrun even by medium tanks. Reverse speed and armor are basically non-existent, so if someone calls artillery on you, it is basically a death sentence. While the rockets aren't great, especially against Shermans, they are at least usable against most targets. It's a close runner-up for worst vehicle, but based on how the rockets performed, I pretty much knew what vehicle would be the worst. But I didn't want the search to be over so soon, so I decided to make two categories, the worst rocket tank and the worst gun tank. Let's look at the worst premiums with guns. I started with the Independent. The stats don't seem terrible, it just looked kind of sad to me, so I wanted to see how bad it was. As it turns out, it's actually quite good on certain maps, mostly urban or small ones. You wouldn't think that given how long it is, but it turns surprisingly well. The gun's penetration isn't great, and only having one useful turret kind of sucked, but it's definitely not a bad tank. The shoulder stabilizer is nice to have, and the APHE was pretty lethal. However, I wouldn't recommend buying it. It seems to be a cast magnet. After messing around with the Independent, I moved on to the Zut-37. This is supposed to be an anti-air vehicle, but the turret traverse is abysmally slow, so it's never used like that. Not really sure what the Soviets were thinking there. Anyway, as the name implies, it has a 37mm cannon. It uses 5 round clips, and each clip takes 5 seconds to reload. Penetration is okay for a 2.3 vehicle, but the damage output isn't. Fighting tanks with spaced out crew is annoying, same if they have a lot of crew. It somehow only has 3 degrees of gun depression, despite not having a turret roof, so you need to fight on level ground. The gun isn't terrible, but the platform is. It's based on the T-70 light tank, so it is decently mobile, but not stable at all. The gun takes forever to stop moving, and jumps significantly when you fire. That's not the worst part though, it's the lack of survivability. Not only is it open topped, but it also only has two crew, and the turret is paper thin. If someone so much as glances your way, you're basically a goner. It doesn't seem that bad, until you look at the French tree. That has the LVT-440. The LVT has basically the same pen, a lot more crew, a much faster turret, insanely fast reload rate, and two coax 50 cals. The 440 shouldn't be 2.3, but regardless I can say this. The Zut is the worst gun premium you can buy. Now onto the worst rocket tank, which is also the worst premium overall. It's the BM-824, which is based on the T-60 light tank. In many ways, the BM is very similar to the Zut. Just take every major issue and compound it. The biggest issue is that it simply cannot kill anything. Well it can, it just has to be an open top vehicle, or you have to get very lucky. The rockets only pen 9mm, so you actually cannot kill most close top vehicles. The rockets are difficult to aim, have terrible traverse, and no depression. Also they just do their own thing sometimes. Just like on the Zut, the BM only has two crew, but they're placed right next to each other. Any shot that pens will kill you, unless you get lucky and the engine eats it. And despite being based on a light tank, it doesn't feel very fast at all. This thing is so bad that during an event, it was a challenge to get 5 kills with it, and that was before overpressure made it useless. I don't even know if you can buy it anymore, but I wouldn't recommend it, even for laughs. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.